All right, good afternoon, YouTube. This is what it looks like when you are pulling up to a big rollover. What you got is a tractor with the container blocking four lanes of freeway. As soon as these people let me through, uh, what we like to do is alleviate this traffic right here. If I can open up at least one or two lanes, CHP will be very happy and then we have a much better uh, working environment. Well, let's just see. Uh, come on. Yes, this office is going to stop traffic. Once I get this uh, trailer out. Let's see what he wants really quick. And that's what this looks like. So this is going to be an easy job for me. I'm going to drag this baby over as much as I can. I'll put this on a tripod so I can be all hands on deck fast. Need to a break on this go.
All right, baby, this is what's called opening up lanes. I got unit 77, my dad's rotator up front. He's gonna straighten out the tractor. That way we can work this whole job from uh, in between these two exit lanes where Hulk is at. I already opened up one lane, I'm gonna go for two. I'm gonna just switch that position of the chain because now as I go in with this one, it's gonna go underneath the uh, the bag back there, the, the chamber. I got a few more feet until that happens. Oh, I got way more than a few feet. Man, Hulk, this is cool. All right, now we go in. I'm gonna do this one more time, but I'm gonna have Mike set up the uh, the pull pin. What up, Mike? Hey. Your pin is in backwards. Put it the other way. You're gonna winch. <clears throat> You're gonna winch with this red hook. You got it? I'll get the sling for you. Drop the underlift and uh, pull out that red cable, please. Actually, the green one. Pull out the green cable, Mike. I'll get you a sling. Mike's uh, relatively new to the company. Oh yeah, baby, this one. But uh, he's a good tower. I'm gonna break him in with this rotator call using my dad's rotator. Hold on, Mike. Drop the underlift first. Underlift fold, Mike, you know this. Now let's see which ones have free spool because I don't think my dad has free spool on both of them. Oh, he does. It fixed? Let me see. Beautiful. So when I'm ready, Mike, you're going to pull out that green one, okay? Right. Let me walk it out a lot, though. Look at all that traffic. I'm going to save you guys a lot of alleviation right now. I mean, I'm going to alleviate a lot of this traffic.
beautiful mic. Keep going in with the green cable, please. So as you see, I'm turning it in the back while Mike's doing the opposite. You have to straighten these out. That's how you upright them. Otherwise, we'd have to shut down the whole freeway and put one truck by the center divider right there. Very ugly. And then, as I mentioned before, what happens if the load is shifted or something and the container has to be uh, adjusted? <clears throat> this allows us to work it in the shoulder. See how that's the 605 freeway. And this is the 60 East. So by doing it my way, we keep the entire 60 open and we only take the shoulder lane and one on-ramp lane. I'm happy here. Let me just tell CHV if they're okay with this or if they want a little bit more. All right. Good job, Mike. Hold it. Oh, it is a hot one. The shredder is here. He's uh, taking over the rotator. We brought our 35 ton wrecker. I'm going to be setting up the catches for both of us. Trusty container sling. No, I can't put that here, buddy. Sit high. So whoever's got the burgundy Dodge Ram. Hello. All right, one down. One to go. All right, now to set up my dad, I already got his catch line installed. That's his lift. And it's gonna mirror exactly that, just like Hulk. So I'll just wait till he uh, feeds me the boom. All right, the top is all set up. This is the final piece of the puzzle. Oh yeah, I got some shade for once. So Hulk, again, is 100% Put on now. I just attach the container web link. By the way, I know I never discuss pricing on these things, but man, no one ever gets these right. People always assume it's like twenty thousand dollars or even ten thousand dollars because there's three trucks, but negative. Rarely, rarely, rarely is it that much. Everything from police to hourly. Time in, time out. And when you're as fast as us, it's to our detriment, I guess you can see it that way, but we couldn't milk it if we tried, man. So all the haters that say I overcharge and this and that, look at my competitor's bills and then tell me that. By the way, I just wanted to include this one. The boss showing Mike how it's done on these drive shafts with these end caps like that. These are the worst kind to take off if you guys are familiar with them. They aren't the standard ones that just have four bolts. The star bolt patterns that are like a, a half inch. We have a tiger tool for these, but he got it off just using a wrench. Yeah, Dad, you're all rigged up. Just boom up and Align your, your height, and we're ready to go in. Mike's airborne, are you ready, Dad? Okay, let me sit on my end. This is so cool. This is always my favorite part. Oh man, I'm already airborne. Slowly but surely, you want that puppy coming up. You just cannot beat the speed and efficiency of this, man. 
You have the rotators doing all the brute strength, focusing on this container. The wrecker controlling the tractor. Go in with the green and the red at the same time, Dad. So my dad's gonna blow it out from him. Again, the beauty of having two rotators. Just go in with the green and the red at the same time, Dad. It's gonna push it over. I like how I'm telling my dad what to do as if he hasn't been doing this 42 years. The red, the red, a lot more on the red. Go with the red, Dad. Here, let me help you. Oh, the lock came undone. I'm helping you. I'm helping you by going in with the back cable. I am. So I'm kind of cheating. Kind of cheating by using my truck. Did that just happen? Yeah, yeah it had to have because it wouldn't have came up with... I will, I'm gonna stand here. Cable only, Mike, let out with the cable, please. If you guys are fans of this channel, you'll see how often those stupid locks are an issue, man. You'll know if it's off in the beginning because it will not come up. The container comes up and the chassis stays on the floor. When it happens, you gotta adapt. Let out all the way, Mike. Let out all the way. There. What would have been a crisis got averted easily by being in control. The container lock, Mike, here. Move. Watch out. There you go, Dad. Okay, let me blow out. Please do. Get it nice and even. That was a good job, Josh. Thank you. I got a compliment from the shredder. This is what he was trying to do in the beginning, is push it away. You'll see right now, as the rear tractor tires move. Why don't you disconnect the airline? There we go. Look at that. Much better. That part's done. My locks are good. These back ones are a lot easier. Like I mentioned before, they twist in there and they got a lock. Now, if you can see, I have no tension. Cables are nice and loose. Everything's straight. No load shift. This thing was all, all the way over there blocking four lanes and found it. Let me, let me find out. Let me come with the, the, the company tractor coming for I'll tell them.
All right, so I just explained to the cops right now that uh, the company wants to send a tractor to pull their container. It's got a hot load. <laughs> so of course I told them yes. We'll meet off uh, right here. It's called. Whoa, that was fast. Crossroads. Crossroads off the 60 freeway. And they can come get their container. Beautiful job, guys. All right, let's land this thing and I'm gonna put away my truck. All right guys, I'm the last to be put away. I helped Mike set up the tow unit. He's out of here. We put away my dad's rotator first and then now just uh, put the boom away and the outriggers on Hulk. And we are outro. We got some assistance from Caltrans in cleaning up. Looks like my dad's out there with the broom. Always doing something. Quick, easy job. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Peace out.